Hello friends, in today's video we will be discussing fraction 4.0. Our agenda for today's video is we are going to recollect our learnings in fraction and then our main aim is to learn how to divide fractions and then we would solve some tryouts. Now let's recollect. Like fractions always share the same denominator. Example 1 by 2 comma 3 by 2. As the denominators are the same, this is an example for like fractions. Unlike fractions always have different denominators. Example, 3 by 2, comma, 5 by 7. This is an example for unlike fractions because the denominators are not equal. They are different. And then our third type of fraction is mixed fraction. It always has a whole number and a proper fraction combined. Example, 4, 1 by 2. The 4 is the whole number and 1 by 2 is a proper fraction. Now, let's see how to divide fractions. Dividing the fraction by another fraction is the same as multiplying the fraction by the reciprocal of other. Consider an example, 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 5. The 1 by 2 is known as the antecedent term and always remains the same while we are dividing. So it remains the same. We have to take the reciprocal of the subsequent term, which is the second term. Reciprocal is nothing but the numerator comes to the denominator and the denominator comes to the numerator, which is the 5 comes to the top, which is the numerator, and the 3 goes to the denominator. And then when we take the reciprocal of this number, the division sign changes to multiplication. As usual, you just have to multiply it. So 1 into 5 divided by 2 into 3. So it is equal to 5 by 6. So 1 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 5 is equal to 5 by 6. Now let's apply our learning by solving more questions with related to like fractions, unlike fractions, and mixed fractions. Fraction division. Like fraction division. The first step is we have to take the inverse of the subsequent fraction, which is nothing but the reciprocal of a second term. And then we have to multiply the numerator. And our third step would be multiplying the denominator. And then we simplify the result. Now let's see this with an example. Consider a question 3 divided by 7 divided by 2 by 7. The first term, which is the antecedent term, remains the same. And then we have to take the reciprocal of the subsequent term, which is the second term. Reciprocal is nothing but the numerator comes to the denominator, which is the 2. It's written in the denominator. And the 7 would be written in the numerator. And then the division sign changes into multiplication. So for, and then our second step would be we have to take the multiplying the numerator, which is 3 multiplied by 7, divided by multiplying the denominator, which is 7 divided by 2, equal to 21 by 14. Now, we can simplify the result, which would lead to 3 by 2. Now, let's see an example for unlike fractions. Friends, the step is the same for both like fractions and unlike fractions. As usual, we have to take the inverse of the subsequent fraction and then we multiply the numerator, multiplying the denominator and then we simplify the result. Now, let's see an example. 3 by 8 divided by 4 by 5. As usual, the first antecedent term remains the same. And then we have to take the reciprocal of the subsequent term, which is the second term. While taking the reciprocal, the numerator comes to the denominator, which is 4 is returned in the denominator, and the 5 goes to the numerator. And then the division sign changes into multiplication, 
we follow the multiplication rule now we multiply the numerator which is 3 multiplied by 5 divided by 8 multiplied by 4 we get 3 5s are 15 divided by 8 4s are 32 we cannot simplify this result so the answer is 15 by 32 mixed fraction division mixed like fractions friends as usual we always have to convert the mixed fraction to an improper fraction and then you take the inverse of the subsequent fraction and we simplify the end result now let's see an example 1 1 by 3 divided by 2 1 by 3 the first step is we have to take the improper fraction so 1 1 by 3 can be returned as 1 into 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4 by 3 and 2 1 by 3 can be returned as 7 by 3 because 3 into 2 is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 so 7 by 3 and then we write it in the form of division so 4 by 3 divided by 7 by 3 as usual the first term which is the antecedent term remains the same so 4 by 3 is written as it is and then we have to take the reciprocal of our second term so the numerator comes the denominator which is 7 is written in the denominator and the numerator is 3 and then our multiplication is here so then we just multiply the two numerator which is 4 into 3 divided by 3 into 7 the 3 and 3 can get cancelled which is equal to 4 by 7 so the answer is 4 by 7 now let's see an example for mixed unlike fractions always when you get a mixed fraction you always have to convert it into an improper fraction so that is our first step and then we have to take the inverse of the subsequent fraction we multiply the numerator and then we multiply the denominator we simplify the end result now let's see an example 3 1 by 3 divided by 4 1 by 6 we convert this fraction into an improper fraction which is equal to 3 into 3 9 plus 1 10 by 3 divided by 6 fours are 24 plus 1 25 by 6 and then the first term which is the antecedent term remains the same we have to take the reciprocal of the subsequent term which is the 6 is written in the numerator and the 25 is going to be written in the denominator and then the division sign changes into multiplication so now you could easily cancel 3 and 6 by 3 table which is equal to 2 and then you could cancel 10 and 35 by 5 table which will lead you to 10 5 5 is 25 so 2 into 2 is equal to 4 and 5 into 1 is equal to 5 so the answer is 4 by 5 or you could also write it as 60 by 75 Now let's solve some tryouts. Let's find the answer for the like fractions. Consider the example 4 by 14 divided by 12 by 14. As usual, the antecedent term, which is the first term, remains the same. And then we have to take the reciprocal of the subsequent term, which is the denominator goes to the numerator and the numerator comes to the denominator. And then the division sign changes into multiplication sign. So you could easily cancel 14 and 14 and 4 and 12 by 4 tables, which is equal to 1 by 3. Now let's consider an example for unlike fractions. Let's find the answer for the unlike fractions. 7 by 11. As usual, this is the antecedent term, so it remains the same. And then you have to take the reciprocal of the subsequent term which is 8 by 4 and then the division sign changes into a multiplication sign you could easily cancel this 4 and 8 by 4 tables which is 2 you could write it again as 7 by 11 into 2 by 1 
which is equal to 14 by 11. Now let's try an example for mixed fraction. Consider an example 1, 2 by 3 divided by 7 to 2 by 3. As usual, we have to convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction, which is 3 into 1 plus 2 divided by 3, which is equal to 5 by 3 divided by 7 into 3, 21 plus 2, 23 divided by 3. And then our second step is we have to take the reciprocal of the subsequent term while the, the first term remains the same. So 5 by 3, we have to take the reciprocal, which is 3 by 23. The division sign changes into multiplication and then we just have to multiply it. This 3 and this 3 can easily get cancelled by 3 table, which is leading to 5 by 23 is the answer. Thank you friends. I would be visiting you with another video based on fraction. Until then, goodbye friends. If you like our video, please do subscribe to Chuti Mitral channel and press the bell icon to get immediate notification on our new videos. Please do like, share your valuable comments in the comment box below. Thank you and have a great day friends.